Hey everybody, Excalibur here, and today we are going to unbox Role Player Monsters and Minions by Keith Mateka. Let's see what's inside. So let's get the disclaimer out of the way first. I back this with my own funds on Kickstarter. My video has not been reviewed by anybody before it's been posted, and the views and opinions in this video are all my own. So why don't we go ahead and rip off this plastic and see what we've got. There's a little bit more, and that's going to be a surprise, but I'll pull that out. Let's get the, the knife of face manning, though. It's losing its edge, so I'm not as afraid as I was, but still it's sharp enough to cut my fingers and face, so we're going to be careful. So let's get this delicious plastic off of here. We all love ripping this off our games. Let's stick that there for now. Yeah, it didn't explode on me. And let's set this down and take a look. So here's the front. You can see that there's a big monster and it's an expansion. You need role player to work with this game. On the back you've got all the blurbage and everything like that. And I wonder if I'll be able to fit all of this inside um, the main role player box. So here we go. Cover coming off. Whoa, it's on pretty tight. It's stuck in this bottom corner here. So the, ah, there we go. It was delivered to my house um, the other day, and the doorbell wasn't even rang when it was left on the on the porch. So there was absolutely no way for me to figure out what was going on. So here we are. We have role player. Here's the expansion rule book, and it is once again on really nice paper. So we've got boost dice and combat dice with this expansion, plus some market card scrolls, monster cards, and stuff like that. So basically what you're going to do is as you're building up your character, you're going to go out and get experience, and you're going to level up your character and be able to do even more stuff. So it turns it more into uh, an adventure role-playing game where you're doing the meta of building your character at the same time, and it is really, really, really cool. And this is going to be played the next time I play role-player. Oh my gosh, it is. So the first chit board we get out of here is oh it's the bastia that's that's my guess with the b-a-s-t-j-a there's the female side and the male side everything is pretty much the same thing and i'm not sure what the a-o-l here means but i think it is uh tokens that are saved for this character and then we've got minus one chits and we've got plus one uh, victory point tokens and a whole bunch of other stuff. Place for class and backstory as always. And of course we've got coins down at the bottom. This comes with cardboard coins. Although I did back um, for better stuff. So here's a construct. We've got, I believe, the female side here. And then the male side here. It's all about the same. And this one has some extra bard tokens in there. Oop, and we have the Wrathborn, which is, I believe, uh, their version of Tieflings from d d So there's male and female sides, more coins, and it looks like more victory points and tokens for the Bard. Oh, we've got a Dark Elf now. There's the female and the male. And this is all victory points and minus one tokens. So I'm wondering what the minus one tokens are for. I'm going to have to figure that out. And then we've got the Gnome. There's the male and, f or female and male sides. That's what I, I really like that feature. You can have uh, both things. And then, and then we have this guy here, which I'm going to go ahead and just slice up. This is the Frogkin. Oh yeah, I just got an email. Wonderful emails. Wonderful. And my phone likes to shout at me when I get them. So let's get this guy out of here and be very careful. I don't want anything falling out of the sprue because this is all going to be photographed. There we go. And this is really punched really, really well. So, whoop. There we are. There's the female side, and it looks like we've got more bard tokens. And then there's the male side. Awesome sauce. Now, this is one of the things that I wanted to show you. Instead of all the cardboard stuff, I got the metal token upgrade, the metal coin upgrade. So looks like we've got some th three coins. And these things are quite, quite lovely in the hand. Oh, yeah. 
So here's the front. It's got a king. In the back, we've got two axes and a three. So these are worth three each. And then we've got our one points. And they look just like the tokens. So here we go. We've got the elf on one side. And then the one and crossed swords on the back, or a sword and a torch, celery, leaf, <laughs> That's something like that. Somebody will tell me what that is. And let's just pull up one of the sprues, the frog cans right here. We can take a look at the back of the coins and see if that changes. So, yep, it, it is actually um, a metal rubber reproduction of this so we're gonna have lots and lots of coins on top of that oh so here are the uh, the dice some of them and they're okay oh wow they've got different numbers on them i see uh, an eight and a seven and a couple others and i believe these are our combat dice which are um translucent orange ish red fireish kind of stuff We've got more dice to handle another player, it looks like, or maybe just extras. We have a first player token. That's what I'm going to guess that is, or maybe it's a big bad boss. There's a lot of stuff in here. And then we've got some resource cubes. These are your experience right there. And, ooh, upgraded play sequence and scorecards. Let's go ahead and open these up and see what's what in this we need the knife of face maiming for this guy there's a little hole right here we can just get the tip in and then we can roll it open to get something in there come on come on there we go i don't like shrink wrapped cards because i'm always afraid i'm going to damage a card as i break the shrink wrap off of it and these guys are some really big cards. Let's take a look and see just how big these are. They look like they're about 65 by 110 or 65 by 120. I can't really tell at this stage. Come on. And no, these are 70 by 110. No, 70 by 120. So these are tarot size, I believe. So we have our play sequence and our score sheet. Another play sequence and score sheet. Oh, 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 these, I believe, are the monsters. Yeah, yeah, they're monster cards. So there's the back of the monster card. And we have some more play sequence. And another play sequence right there. Let's go ahead and get those play sequences out of there. So there's enough for five. And then we have all these monsters. And then we have our monsters, the Chimera, the Kraken, the Dragon, the Demon, Vampire, giant troll and the chimera again so that is pretty pretty slick oh there's two different versions of each one so we have the um a smaller version of the chimera and then there's the kraken and the dragon and the demon the vampire and the giant troll again so there's two different versions so i'll do chimeras just show you the, the differences and they have different life totals, as you can see right here and right here. And they have the same uh, power. And it looks like they have the same scoring. This one, however, is higher than this one, as you can see. So that is pretty, pretty awesome. And the play sequence is super duper awesome. Let's go ahead and pull these out here. So you can see what it is. It's going to show you everything you do on your turn. And that is sweet. It's a lot better than the other ones that we have. Now, underneath that, oh, let's get the cards out here first. We have more cards. We have a lot of cards. So let's find the wonderful tie. There we go. We can get this off. These are standard cards, I can tell you right now. These are easily 63.5 by 88. And we'll just do the handy dandy measurement just to make sure. Yep, 63 by 88. That's right. So 
any standard sleeves will work with this. So you have initiative four and five and six because you can get um, a number of players plus one is your initiative markers. So this goes up to five players. Adds a fifth player, it looks like, and you have to have up to six. And if you if you've got five players, you need a gold coin on four and on five. So that is sweet. And then we have it looks like minions and other kinds of stuff here. So let's go ahead and go through them really quick. Some a lot more market cards. That's what these are. Uh, this one is like a monster or a minion. So you have to fight them, I believe. So these are all market cards. I'm just going to show you really quick. They are linen finished. They are pretty thick. They are very nice and flexible. And you can't see through them when held up to the light. So a lot of different skills. It adds a lot more fun stuff to the game. So hopefully we will have more replayability for role player. So here are all the market cards. We have more alignment cards and backgrounds and stuff like that too, I believe. And let's get through these. There's the markets. And now we have backstories. So we have more backstories as well. We have an apprentice cast off, gatekeeper, separated, damaged, doomed, gladiator, lost in time, oracle, outcast, <laughs> transported, and wanderer. So we get some more backgrounds which uh, give you points based on how many colored dice you have in the right places. Oh, and some more classes. So we have a warlord. And on the back is the knight. These are a red class. We have a green, which is an elementalist and a shaman. And then we have a purple for the alchemist and a psionic. We have a crusader, which is white, and a priest, which is also white. An assassin, which is black. And on the back, you have a scout. Then we have a blue illusionist and a blue enchanter. Now we have our minions, and there are a bunch of them that you have to fight, stuff like that. So all the information you need is down at the bottom, and your rewards are there as well. And it'll tell you what you can get, what you can use, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And this is pretty cool. I don't know how to play this expansion yet. I will be playing it very soon, however, as soon as I get a chance, because I love this game. This game is sweet. It's awesome. And this just makes my day that I got it now. I've been waiting for this expansion to hit. And yes, we saw the uh, ubiquitous owlbear and doppelganger, giant rat, kobolds, and goblins. So there we are. We've got all those cards. Now we have some monster attacks and other things. We'll have to see what these are. Boy, I'm going to have a lot of plastic to throw away today. Okay, so these are actually um, attack cards for the monsters. So you've got the dragon attack. You have an attack for the giant troll, another dragon, giant troll, and then obstacle, chimera, obstacle, kraken, vampire attack. So those are some attacks there, and I think they're more in the front here. Nope, nope, those are locations. We have a new alignment here, which is an individualist. Um, a vampire location. Okay, so it's been interspersed. We're going to see a bunch of different things. And another alignment, which was miscreant, by the way. So you can see where all the points are right there. There we go. And we've got Poisonous Fumes, which is an obstacle. So there's a lot of stuff here. And it looks like we have XP and gold purchasing. And I believe we're going to have a couple of those. Yeah, there's two. I think it's probably five of them. Three. Four. They're, rem they're reminder cards. So 
so that you know what you can use your um, experience and gold to buy five all right so the rest of these are just your standard and let's turn it this way because it looks like they're going that way so we have locations and more alignments and obstacles and attacks and stuff like that that are based on the monsters and you get the stuff for the characters and all that now these I believe are mini they're either mini chimera mini USA or mini euro and I will measure those out in a second um, we'll have to see exactly what those measurements are and I will put links to all the card sizes as always down below in the description so you will know what I'm talking about and you'll have the measurements of all the cards available to you so if you get this and you want to find out how to sleeve it where to sleeve it or whatnot you'll have those available now these are height is 63 or 64 and the width I'm probably gonna guess at 47 nope 45 so yeah it's 45 by um, 60 67 66 67 something around there uh, there will be sleeves and I'll have those all listed down below so the last thing in the box are character sheets so you can actually write down your characters uh, final stuff and you can use it in your favorite games and it looks like mine split or there are two pads one or the other I can't remember which according to stretch goals but that is really really cool I've always thought of this as a great way to create D&D &D characters oh, let's get the cover here and now we have ways to get them a little bit of extra experience to go and it just breathes a little bit more life into the role player game this I have been waiting for and I am happy it's here so this has been an unboxing of role player monsters and minions an expansion to the original role player game by Keith Mateka and published by Thunderworks Games. If you've liked this video and what I pulled out of the box and shown to you, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And until next time, this is Excalibur, and I am out.